Hey, hey, y'all, and welcome back. I hope you're having a great day. So today I've got three meals to share with you in this week's What's for Dinner. Our first meal is chicken and dumplings, and y'all, this brings back so many childhood memories. I'm going to get started by boiling some chicken breasts. I got two chicken breasts here. A little tip for you, if you're going to freeze chicken, wrap it in some plastic wrap and then put it in a bag. This keeps it from sticking together, and you can just pull out what you want. Now, I didn't have any buttermilk, so I'm making my own by putting just a splash of white vinegar into a cup of whole milk. I stirred that around. I'm going to let it sit while I get everything else ready. I've got two cups of self-rising flour here, and I've put in two tablespoons of shortening and two tablespoons of butter. And I want to mix that in with my hands because y'all know they're the best kitchen tools. And the consistency that we're looking for is like wet sand. So you squeeze it and it sticks together, but then it crumbles back apart. Now my buttermilk is ready. I don't know if you can tell, but there's some curdles right there on top. We're just going to add that in to our flour mixture a little bit at a time until we get the dough consistency that we're looking for. Now before I finish up my dumplings, we're going to shred this chicken and into that water that we cooked our chicken in there's probably a, probably about five cups of water there i'm going to put three teaspoons of this better than bouillon chicken base actually audrey's going to do it she was helping me out now i think the container actually says to put a teaspoon for every eight ounces of water but i don't know if it's because we cooked the chicken in this water or what it is but three teaspoons seems to work out just right now I have in the past removed a little bit of this water and added in some chicken broth instead of using this better than bouillon base but I'm telling y'all this stuff is so good. Now I'm just dropping that shredded chicken back down into our water and then we'll finish up our dough. You could just drop this dough in little pieces into the water. Uh, you could even use store-bought biscuit dough. But we're going to do it the way we did it when I was a little girl. And I'm going to cut this into strips and lay it over Audrey's hand. Just like my mama Della used to do with me. We're gonna go ahead and put in some salt and pepper, and then I'll let Audrey start dropping in the dumplings. Now with my younger kiddos, I'll put them, I'll let them put the dumplings on their hand and then I'll drop it in for them. Uh, but Audrey's old enough that she can do it now. Just remember, it's hot, so be careful. Now for cleanup, I made my dough on some plastic wrap so I can really easily just roll it up and throw it away. There's not much mess. I also like to do that on aluminum foil sometimes so I can reuse it. All right, when you start to cook your dumplings, they're gonna puff up really big. Keep cooking them because you want to condense them down so they look like this. Oh my goodness, y'all. These are so good and our whole family, kiddos and all, love chicken and dumplings. Our next meal is steak kebabs with sauteed squash and zucchini, and we also did some grilled pineapple that you'll see in just a minute. The first thing that I did was cut my steak up into about one inch cubes, and then I made a marinade for it. I let mine sit in the marinade for about 30 minutes, but if you did it longer, it would be even better. So for my marinade, I use about two to three tablespoons of this Dell seasoning. Yep, there's a kiddo needing mama. <laughs> I didn't measure any of this stuff exactly, but I'll kind of guesstimate for you. And then I put in some red pepper flakes. I'm saying maybe about half a teaspoon. And then the same with garlic powder and onion powder. and then just some good old salt and pepper. I sealed up the bag and mixed it around really good and sat that off to the side while I cut up my bell pepper and my onion into about one inch cubes as well. Thank you. 
Now we're gonna start layering everything on our wooden skewers that I soaked in some water. I obviously did not soak them long enough. I'll show you in a minute what happens when you don't soak your wooden skewers. And I'm also gonna get my squash and zucchini started in about a tablespoon of melted butter, salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning. That is our favorite way to eat squash and zucchini right now. We're gonna get these kebabs on the grill and cook them to our desired doneness. Is that a word, doneness? It is now. So here's what happens if your skewers are not soaked in water well enough. They will burn, they will break, and you have to be very careful that they don't catch on fire. So soak those wooden skewers good. There was our squash and zucchini, and here's the pineapple. It doesn't take the pineapple long at all. And then our finished plate. It was so good. All right, the next recipe is sausage gravy biscuits, and we're using the Dean's Child Mild Sausage. That's our favorite sausage. Break that up. And then I decided to take it easy and do some frozen biscuits. These are our favorite store-bought biscuits. But y'all love to make homemade biscuits too, and you could use that same dough recipe from the dumplings to make homemade biscuits. Look at my little helper. He's just helping me out real good. And here we are cleaning off chore charts. That's how you know the week has officially ended and we're getting ready for another week. All right, so into our browned sausage. Leave that grease in there, y'all. Don't you get rid of that grease. Put a third of a cup of flour, a little bit at a time, working it into the sausage. And then once we get all of our flour in there, we're gonna put in four cups of whole milk. And then we're gonna stir that and cook it for about 10 minutes while it thickens up. Now that it's gotten thick, we're gonna add in some salt and pepper and eat this on those biscuits. Y'all, this is good breakfast, lunch, dinner, <laughs> snack time. It doesn't matter, it's so good. Do me a favor, either down in the comments or in a message over on Instagram, send me some of your favorite recipes so that we can try them out. I would love to share some of our favorites, but some of your favorites as well. We'll see you next time. Bye y'all.